Hey kids, John here. I was asked to provide maybe some thoughts and hopefully some good advice for the comeback player. A comeback player is a, a player that played music for a period of time in their life, took some time off, and now they're coming back to it. They may have quit in high school, college, even a professional career, and then stopped playing, and now they're coming back to playing again. Um, how do, how, how, do, how do I speak to this? As I have discussed on a few other videos, had a catastrophic accident that required four stitches on the inside of my lip. And once all that was healed, I picked up my trumpet and I tried to play and I could not play. I couldn't get a sound. I had nothing. Okay. I had been very successful, had an accident, and now I can't play. I determined in that moment that I was a completely different person, that the person that I was before is gone. All the knowledge might be there, but it matters not because I am a totally different person. So what I did was I got rid of all expectations. I got rid of all expectations. I took my equipment that I owned and I got rid of it because there were expectations associated with that equipment, okay? I'm not saying you have to do that as a comeback player, but you, as far as the equipment goes, you may want to explore different equipment because I found equipment the next day that I could get a tone. I got my first note. And what did I do? I didn't try and immediately play what I knew. Absolutely not. I realized that because I was this different person and all of this was pretty much gone, I started over. And for that first day, all I played was that one note. That's all I did. And I set goals based on progress. I set goals. I think you have to set goals. It's just like anything in life. I want to live on the beach. Well, I live in California. That's why I have this nice looking shirt. And uh, tell you what, all I have to do is turn west and start walking. I'll get to the beach. So if my goal is to live on the beach, I have to make the first goal to find out where west is. So I just wait till about eight o'clock at night and I find where the light's coming from. And now I got west. Okay, now I know which direction to start walking. Then the next step is to start walking. Okay, it's, the, trumpet playing is no different. You have to set a goal. What we, I want to play like I did before. I want to play better than I did before. I used to play classical. I want to play jazz. I want to play in the community band. I want to be able to play in a, 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 an R&B group. Whatever the goal is, set it. That's what you want to do. So set that as your goal and realize now I have to start taking steps and laying the groundwork so that I can get to my goal. So a, a, an ultimate goal, which may be a moving target. And the, the progress goals. Now, we have a whole host of uh, ability to commit to this progress, okay? Some, some players are like, yeah, I can do an hour a day. I could break that up because I recommend small sessions. I, don't re you know, I honestly don't recommend sitting down for a solid hour and playing. I think you get more out of three 20-minute sessions and you rest during those sessions because your, your chops are fresh, your mind is fresh, your concentration is, is high. Okay, so smaller sessions to me are better. So maybe you can only do two 20 minute sessions. Maybe you're retired and you can put that trumpet right next to that Barca lounger and kick back and just pick it up and play in between the, the show, you know, on commercial breaks, you're sitting there playing. That's great. If you, if you sit there for four hours watching TV and playing on every commercial break, you're going to play a lot of trumpet. 
So I think understanding what your commitment level can be is is like that first step. You've got your goal. Now what's my commitment level? Okay, great. I'm 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 committing to five, six days a week of playing two 20-minute sessions or whatever it is. Now within the context of those of those sessions, I think you have to make decisions about what you're gonna work on. Trumpet playing is trumpet playing is trumpet playing. And I think the classic approach to trumpet playing is something that is absolutely valuable. Flexibility studies, tonguing studies, slurs, intervals, chords, arpeggios, you know, scales, and technical drills, characteristic studies, solos, and then above all, playing music. Okay, so you've got all these things that you have to do. Okay, well, I only got two 20-minute sessions a day. I get that. Believe me. So what you have to do is have to take a look, not at the daily schedule, take a look at your weekly schedule. See what kind of overarching thing you can develop. A balanced diet is the best thing for us as a human being. Something that provides a really good diet. All right. So for you and your goals, if you're if you're a vegetarian, if you're a vegan, if you're a, a, a Atkins, whatever that diet is that you decide, because your goal is maybe a little different, but whatever that diet is, make sure there's a balance to it. Okay. So I'm going to work on flexibilities, and because I'm a jazz guy, I'm going to work on scales, but I'm going to work on a bunch of different scales than the classical guys. I'm going to try and play R&B stuff. I'm going to work on these studies, and I'm also going to m- memorize tunes. You know, this is this is the type of stuff you 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 pick off these certain things. You make sure you put the building blocks of being a good trumpet player in place. Playing your flexibility studies, playing your articulation studies, playing slurs, playing intervals. But you can do it in a manner that actually leads you towards whatever goal you have, okay? And so, again, the big goal, the commitment, and now the building blocks. Don't put in place expectations of how quickly you're going to get this, okay? Just because five years ago you did whatever, or 10 years, or 20 years, it just doesn't mean within two weeks you're going to Boom, you're going to be here. If you rush it, probably not going to be so good. Most of us understand this in a another profession or another thing, another conceptual thing of how we should do something. You know, should... Okay, I got I to gotta, I gotta go ahead and uh, do the valves on my motorcycle. I'm just going to rush through it. No, I'm going to measure it. I'm going to measure it again. And I'm going to like measure it again. You want to make sure you're doing things right. So as you've set your goal, made your commitment, and are starting to put your building blocks of how you're going to become a better player, developing the mechanics, developing that embouchure. Here's where it sits. My breathing, getting rid of tension, playing flexibility studies, long tones, scales, all this stuff, you you have to be self-aware and listen to what you sound like. Understand that if you don't sound good, something's not quite right. What is it? Just being self-aware is huge. You played at some point and you understand what things are supposed to probably sound like. So don't accept a bad approach and don't rush it you know don't sit there and go ta 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 you're starting over you're developing these mechanics ta 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 everything's equal and even they're exactly the same and not ta pl splor spia You're practicing mistakes. Don't practice mistakes. Nail this stuff. Okay? Slow down. 
and nail this stuff. And as the mechanics become very formed, you start to move forward and speed things up. Don't rush the process. As I started to recover, and again, I've done this a couple times now. I had another medical event that took me down hard. And once again, I'm still not the same person I used to be before. I'm now a different person. I relearned to play on a pretty good platform, but I took my time to, to investigate what my limits were, how to reinvent uh, how I played. So when you have this opportunity to rebuild, take advantage of it. Don't rush through it. Realize that, you know what? Maybe it is two years. Two years. If you practice mistakes throughout that two years, you're probably going to sound very similar to the first few weeks of that two years. If you demand good tone, good articulation, good slurs, good intonation, and... Uh, a very good, beautiful sound and, and this musical approach. If you think music over everything else, this is going to drive an approach that is meticulous and musical and, and actually quite successful. And you will become a better player so much faster than if you just rush through stuff. Slow down. Build this foundation with a meticulous, beautiful approach. So much more success will happen. Then, the other kind of key to all of this is, you know, enjoying what you're doing. You know, because this this no longer is like, you know, maybe at one point in time it was it was just part of something that you did, but now. You know, you have these goals, so you got to find ways to really enjoy what you're doing along the way. And I think that this is this is the key to staying at it, keep keeping it fun. So I think that playing melodies is huge, and there's killer play along stuff out there. So investigate that. So give yourself some outlets throughout the week to just enjoy playing. That's huge. Okay, and then as you start enjoying that, then kind of maybe, oh wow, I'd like to try that. So, so work on some things that you really enjoy. N never abandon that. That is something that you have to do, because it's, it's, it's why we do this. We want to have fun. There's an incredible amount of information out there. There's great channels, you know, YouTube channels. There's an A to Z. A to Z program, the Mystery to Mastery, there's uh, Charlie Porter's channel, there's advice from great professionals out there. And you can find it all. Don't get lost in that and don't only pick out one thing from that to focus on. Do work on some of the things that are presented there. And if they're working for you, great. If they're really not working for you, throw them away, including my stuff. My stuff's not going to work for everybody. So access all the information you can. Try to get with a teacher. But beyond everything, get rid of expectations. Build from the beginning again. Set your goals. Then lay your foundation to reach those goals. And I think you're going to really, really learn to play again and have way more success and be far more happy. I hope all this helps. Take it easy, kids.